Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Redstock Straight from Norfolk, Virginia. And actually we're doing a video review of Iron Man 2 movie series, War Machine. And I'll tell you, this is the one that I like the best. This is my favorite Iron Man of all of them. So I'm going to be a little bit biased, but hey, it deserves the praise because it's almost universally loved. I don't know why. But let's check out the box. Iron Man 2 movie series, War Machine, late launching missiles, armor cards, stand included, number 12. You, know, you can see that. Yeah, warning, choking hazard, made by Hans Hasbro, Avengers Assemble, yada, yada, yada. Here's the back of the box. Good old Tony, not Tony Stark, Jim Rhodes. And let's see, let's see. If you want to see the dude's bio, there it is. Pause it, read it, do what you got to do. Made in Canada, or sorry, Hasbro, Canada. Made in China. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I'm also fighting a cold, so you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> hey, I'm cool like that. Hey, but we're not going to watch a box. We never wore, right? Let's show you what it has. First of all, it's got these weird-looking armor cards, and there's three of them. So if you really care what, uh, what they do, the M4K, 396, I don't know what it is. You get three of them. There's War Machine, yay. One, two, three, yay. <sighs> Semi-transparent, I don't know. You also get a stand, but he stands well enough alone, and he also comes with two missiles. Uh, this is a gray one, a red one, and, yeah, you got some interesting issues here or sorry quality control pain issues but nonetheless he's pretty darn awesome he's got a big huge he got this minigun huge missile launcher pain abs i don't know if you can tell he tries to get the red on his eyes he even got this little red triangle on the top let's see if you can see that yeah this is a good detail and he's got it on both sides it's a good detailing on that his face sculpt is good uh his head i'm gonna have to it kind of moves. It's on a ball joint, but it's kind of hindered because of the placement of his little guns. Uh, the gimmick actually hinders his head movement, and yeah, it, this thing, it, it pops off. So if you wanted to, it does stick into this little slot right here. It also has one for the huge gun over here, so yeah, it pops off. So it's a pain in the butt, so uh, I'm not going to... You know, there we go. You know, you get the drift. I'm going to take it off because this is such a pain in the butt. All right. Now, other details over here. The AF57001. And I love this dark gray. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the dark gray. The silver paint over here. Uh, articulation over here is ball jointed shoulder blade. Uh, it does move to the side here. And it got these shoulder pads move out of the way. Single jointed elbow wrist articulation you can even see the arc reactor there same thing on the other side and look at the detail there flts ed 445 you get key the 0001 on the side arc reactor the red and the white right there good detailing in the face has a torso articulation um doesn't have the inner thigh but he does have this little stamp in his inner thigh 00681 i don't forgot what the other one is you can kind of tell it's made back in 2000 or 2010 closed fist on one hand open fist on the other arc reactor same articulation on this side same elbow or sorry the shoulder pad wrist or wrist does move so same thing all right told you about the torso ball jointed hips but really limited articulation you have thigh swivel double jointed knee so he yeah he can bend he can definitely bend uh and an ankle swivel uh, kind of hindered but nonetheless from the back you can tell why it's hindered there's that 0068 so you can tell the gray he's got his little gauntlets right here looking good nicely molded one of my favorite figures definitely best figure in the wave gonna give him eight and a half out of ten so let's check him out man oh yeah the missile fires too yeah so if you want to play this gray missile look at the articulation on the gun too man or an articulation the detail on the minigun too it's just freaking fantastic. It's on two. They're on two pegs, so they move back and forth here. So it does swivel on both of them. Swivel really nice, really nice. What can I say? Plug this missile back in there. Uh, there we go. So that's how you pop them on. So it's looking good. Maybe need a stand, but okay. Eight and a half out of ten. Beautiful figure. All right, YouTubers. I'll catch you all next time.